So a heated steering wheel might not seem like an essential accessory, but when you have to put up with Raynaud's, it's actually a really useful thing to have. So there I was browsing Bimmer Post, and it turns out that if you have lane departure warning but no heated steering wheel, the chances are you already have the elements built in. All it needs is a new cowling and the switch to activate it, and then a little bit of software coding, and you're good to go. First thing you need to do is pull this all the way out and all the way down, so that then we've got good access to all around this bit here. First step is to undo this, and this just pulls up. You can usually get your fingers just underneath it, and these are these are sort of poppers in here. It feels a bit resistive, but it does come out. Ah, there you go. So you probably see that little popper there. Okay, so all those poppers out. Next bit. <laughs> I have no idea how this top cowling comes off. After considerably more faff, it looks like the easy way to get these cowlings off is just to take the wheel off, which is a bit of a faff in itself. So, airbag out, this little switch there, this little um, this little uh, plug here, you just um, press down at the top, releases it. Before you take this off, you really need to disconnect disconnect the battery so negative taken off of its terminal just here is the battery getting to the battery in the back of an F30 is a faff you have to take all of this trim up take the slim panel off of here lift it up the corner panel that sits here has a number of little poppers here here and uh, another one just here so you have to take those poppers and then there's a small this is this lip on the top here is underneath this edge so you have to kind of pull that out there's another one just here that sits under this edge and then you have to take the tool tray out some more poppers take the poppers get the tool tray out then you can actually get to the battery. Bingo. Okay, supposedly this trim pulls off. Ah. And it does. Okay, there is also ignition thing. So all this nice trim here. This trim all needs to come off. Right, that's this trim back on. So this can all go back under here. This needs to plug in. Now to put the wheel back on, I found somewhere online that said that this centre bolt is 17mm, it's not, it's 16mm.
thing to do is tell the car's computer systems it has some new hardware. For this, I use the iPhone app Bimacode along with a Bluetooth OBD adapter from OBD Link. You need to use expert mode in Bimacode to change the four settings, but it's pretty easy to find them. Under the front electronic module, you just select expert mode down in the bottom left hand corner. And then the best thing to do is actually search for the four settings. Et voilà, 100 quid in parts, toasty warm hands.